everyone how are you all doing in this video we are going to talk about the ios 15 beta 8 today is the day apple will be releasing the ios 15 beta 8 today and uh, most probably by the time you are watching this video apple have already released that update in this video we are going to talk about what's expected to come in this update and uh, my experience after using the ios 15 beta 7 on my iphones for quite a few days now like about a week right so uh, let's get right into today's video without wasting any more time if you do find this video helpful and entertaining consider hitting that subscribe button and now let's talk about the ios 15 beta 8 so considering that apple is following one week cycle it is expected that apple will release this update later today and i am really excited for this update like still i am not really as much excited as i was earlier because uh apple is not really putting much effort on uh, this year into uh introducing hidden features and all because last year when i just 14 betas were coming out i remember we had a lot of hidden features like those back tap features and all those uh, there were a lot of hidden features but this time uh it just feels like apple is focusing more on efficiency and improving uh, the performance and all of uh, uh, older devices too taking in consideration that uh, iphone 6s is supported too i think that that's the reason apple is not really putting in a lot of effort in uh, introducing any hidden features but i may be wrong like take this information with a grain of salt i you never know like apple is being really unpredictable lately and uh, you never know seriously maybe ios 15 beta 8 may have like biggest changes changes and features that we all are not expecting at all but it is just my opinion i am just kind of 90 percent sure you know that apple won't really introduce any major changes it will be just battery improvements bug fixes and all those minor stuff nothing big is coming up in my opinion then talking about my experience on using my iphones iphone 7 10 r 12 on the ios 15 beta 7 for a while well wait a minute yes iphone 7 i'm traveling right now so you know i don't have my iphone 7 but my friend is using iphone 7 so take this information like his use case is basically same as mine so that's why i'm saying that so uh, iphone 7 iphone 7 is experiencing really bad battery drain as i was experiencing before i was out for travel you know i was also experiencing really bad battery life on my iphone 7 and so is on this beta 7 the battery is no better compared to previous versions of betas i i'm not really complaining a lot about it because come on it's a beta right it is expected but he is getting like uh, uh, less uh, screen on time on the beta 7 compared to the beta 6 so i would actually really appreciate if apple will improve the battery on iphone 7 and 6s users they are really suffering on this betas i would appreciate if that will happen and i am sure the users using iphone 6s and 7 on this one we will appreciate it too talking about my iphone 10r surprisingly the beta 7 battery life it is just you know beta 7 is just really weird on my iphone 10r my battery life is really good actually compared to the beta 6 and talking about my iphone 12 uh, that's not the case with my iphone 12 my iphone 12 battery is uh, about the same as iphone 10r which is kind of weird you know because iphone 12 have a latest processor and my battery health on iphone 10 r is 88 percent and 12 is at 94 percent so it's really weird you know but yeah the battery screen on time i am getting on my 10 is about six hours and on my 12 it is same six hours or maybe six hours 10 minutes someday or 15 minutes just um just matter of 10 15 minutes more or less talking about the performance the performance is about the same as the bike six i have not really noticed any major improvements here but uh, twitter bug yes uh like uh, ladies and gentlemen twitter bug it seems like it will be getting totally fixed really soon in the beta 8 that's one of the reason i'm really excited for the beta 8 to be very honest uh but uh, it is expected that it will be fixed completely on the beta 8 because on my devices using ios 15 twitter bug now um i just get get the splash screen that uh uh respring bug of twitter like once 
a day whereas by the by the way uh, earlier whenever i used to open twitter for the first time it used to crash but this time it, it really crashed which is really good in my opinion and uh, it just indicates that apple is putting in a lot of efforts to optimize their software to work uh, seamlessly for users because you know in these cases usually developers uh, need to work 24 7 in order to put out updates and all so that people can use their software on the beta version and all that's why test flight is built and uh, i tried using test flight version 2 but it was no, no no better like come on it was even worse in my opinion so i switched back to the official version which is uh, kind of better and uh, yes i i am really excited for the beta 8 for real the performance improvements and all i really like it and i am sure you guys like it too so let me know down in comments below that are you guys excited for the ios 15 beta 8 or not i i know you guys are so please be sure to hit that subscribe button and like one for more videos like these i will be coming up with my reviews and hidden features videos and all of ios 15 beta 8 hope so fingers crossed because i was not well last week so that's why i was not able to post the video about it so i will be coming up with those videos really soon consider hitting that subscribe button for more videos like these and peace